Good afternoon on TV viewers. Today in the studio, I have Lisa Caracato from the Canadian Mental Health Association and Karen Hudson from Algoma University. And we're going to chat a little bit about how students and parents can prepare for when their little, little one goes off to university. <laughs> so some of the implications that can have on both parties. So Karen, I'm going to start with you. Um, through your experience at Algoma U and you know dealing with students and maybe even some parents, um, what what kind of tips would you recommend for a student going away for the very first time? So for the very first time, the best thing to do is have a great conversation with your support system prior to leaving and make a plan. You should be managing your mental health very similarly to how you would manage your physical health. Right. So know your resources, know where you're going, get a support system and try to be prepared as possible. Just know who your contacts are and make sure you're having a conversation with your family in case something uh, happens or you notice some symptoms in yourself. Have a plan for what you're going to do uh, in order to respond. And Karen, you mentioned symptoms, so that kind of segues into my next question for Lisa. Um, what are some of the um, common or, or classic kind of red flags that a parent should watch out for in their child, especially when they are living in a different city and maybe they're not getting that face-to-face -face contact that they normally have? That's a really great question, and everyone um, kind of experiences challenges in a bit of a different way. Right. But overall, some general things to watch for is um, a decline in their social activity, a decline in their contact with family, friends, um, maybe a decline in their schoolwork, um, that kind of thing. Right. And I guess I can ask the same question for for parents. How how would you recommend a parent cope with with their with the empty nest syndrome? Yeah. Uh, it's difficult because as parents, our job is to parent our children and to raise our children. Um, but by the time they're ready to go to school, they are reaching adulthood. Right. And we need to remember that we also have raised them to experience the world independently. Um, so to remember that you did a great job raising them and you gave them the tools that they need um, and remind them to reach out to you if they do need some help for sure. Right. And Karen, what kind of tips, kind of tips and tricks would, would you have through your position for, for students that might be struggling, whether they're first time students or not? I think the best thing to do, especially in preparing, is uh, attend the orientation week. Right. Get a social um, uh, connection, make sure you've got a good support system, uh, and build that right in those first weeks is really, really important. It's knowing it in yourself, but having a team that can work around you and support. And then we ask for help early. There's lots of people at Algoma University that are able to help and available. We're centralizing all our services, so Student Success Central will be your one-stop shop. You can come see someone, meet with someone, and let's get help as soon as we can and uh, get those supports in place. So on the note of Algoma U, um, what are some of the services available on campus for students that might be having a hard time? So the first step I would say is come to Student Success Central and you can meet with an academic success advisor. Sometimes a lot of our stress is anxiety is normal in university, right. having feeling stressed and overwhelmed is, is okay and it's normal. Um, and there are methods to cope. So one of the ways would be meeting with an academic success advisor and we make a plan, whether that be maybe reducing your course load right. or maybe accessing some counseling services that are available on our campus. And something interesting I learned that might be kind of a tip through my experience as a student is you can still get OSAP with a with not 100% course load. Yes. I think sometimes people don't always know that yes. and that you know you don't have to be taking all five or six courses in order to still have a subsidized education so that can kind of relieve pressure Absolutely. for people too. And if you have that documentation we can set you up with our learning center as well. Uh, if you do have a documented accessibility need uh, we can give you additional support services as well. That's great. So there's services available on campus at Algoma U and I'm sure at universities across um, the board in Ontario and probably in Canada too. Lisa, maybe you can speak a little bit more to that. Yes, and um, certainly in the community as well. Um, most students we encourage to access supports on campus, but not everyone's comfortable with right. that. So uh, in Sault Ste. Marie locally, we do have um, lots of supports at Canadian Mental Health Association. We have a single session walk-in clinic that uh, students can access every Tuesday. Um, they can also call and set up an appointment to see someone um, the wait is only a week or two to be able to sit down and speak with a counselor. So. And is there anything, uh, this is just more kind of out of curiosity, are there any like groups of, of like parents that, or um, 
supports available specifically for parents that might really be struggling with their kids being gone? Um, absolutely. They can access services at Canadian Mental Health Association. Um, we have uh, a family support worker as well. So if they are um, struggling kind of or needing some help and support to support uh, a loved one who might be experiencing some mental health challenges, uh, they can they can access our family support worker. So lots of support available here in the Sioux. Mm -hmm. And uh, before we close off today, ladies, is there anything else you wanted to add in preparation for September, it's right around the corner. Attend orientation week. If you're a first year student, no matter what university you're going to, make sure you attend orientation week. Get to know your support services, the staff, faculty that are there to support you, and then get to know your fellow students. That's a great opportunity to engage in the environment that's going to essentially become your family. Perfect. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Lisa. How about you? Anything to yes. add? Yes. Um, I think it's important for both students and parents to know that this is a stressful time. Everyone experiences stress during their life, stress and anxiety. So to have an understanding that it's normal, that there are things we can do to help ourselves through, like seek out supports, like doing exercise, um, like um, staying in touch with friends and family, really, really important. And to know that you're not alone, that um, there is help available if you need it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, ladies, for coming in today and taking the time to share some of your insights with us. Um, so that's Karen Hudson from Algoma University and uh, Lisa Caracato from the Canadian Mental Health Association. Thank you. And we'll be back with more news after this.